Hello everyone, today I'm doing a shoe collection video um, and I'm going to try them on to show you, that's kind of something you've all been saying in my past haul videos is that you want me to actually put them on my feet and show you them, same with clothes. So that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. Just bras everywhere. Let's start with Primark. So from Primark I got these um, wedges, lace up wedges, they're still there, I went yesterday and they were still there. These were, I think they were £10 and they are very similar to all the Public Desire um, strap up, lace up kind of shoes that are there at the moment. These are definitely a cheaper alternative to those which are like £40 I think and then obviously these are 10 so. And then I also went back a week later and got them in this tan colour um, but they only had them in this kind of pale skin colour um, so I got these anyway I like them and um, these are good to go with like jeans and nudie coloured tops um, but yeah I like them they go with pretty much everything and I really enjoyed the other ones they're so comfy same amount of price but I got these in a seven because they didn't have any eights left and these fit fine as well you're all right to go a size down I think because they kind of lace with the front so you can tie them a bit tighter or a bit looser Oh yeah, also from Primark, I got these, um, just these flat sandal things. I don't really ever wear stuff like this, kind of like flip floppy style shoes, except for obviously it's nearly summer now and I'm going on holiday, so I kind of needed some flip flops to wear on the beach or just to kind of chill around the pool. The reason I went for these is obviously the white on the bottom, which I like, and then they're just metallic, but the metallic is kind of like a purpley gold, which is a bit weird, but... I really liked them. Uh, again, these were really cheap. I feel like these were about £8. So I got these a few months ago, maybe like three or four months ago. However, um, I went to Primark yesterday, as I just said, and they still had these. Um, they're these. I've featured these in my date night get ready with me uh, look, but I haven't actually hauled them or spoken about them that I remember. These are so nice, very similar to ones that you can get in Topshop and a lot of other places, peak toe and then open ankle bit and then like a chunky heel and just like this leather um, you can get these in a lot of places for quite expensive and I feel like these don't look cheap at all they don't look like they're from Primark and when on and when you got them with a nice outfit you literally wouldn't be able to tell that they were from Primark so I really like these these are from well actually they're Carvella but they were from TK Maxx and so forth they were a lot cheaper than you would pay at Carvella uh, by Kurt Geiger. Um, I feel like these were reduced from like 90 something to like 30 something but they're just these gold um, stilettos I guess. Uh, they're not too high which is good for me because I'm already six foot and I don't really appreciate being massively tall but they're kind of like something nice to dress up an outfit. I don't really have any like dressy shoes that would glam up an outfit so that's why I got those. From New Look I got these chunky boots. These are quite high. Luckily my boyfriend is six foot eight so I can get away with wearing high heels during the day. Um, they've got quite a big heel, quite chunky. Uh, these are from New Look and they were a fiver. Like they were in the sale so I don't know how much they were originally but I got these because they were a fiver. I kind of saw them and I thought oh they're alright and then I saw they were a fiver and I was like they just kind of zip up leather boots like Tim Dinner. And also if you wear these with black leggings it makes your legs look super long. Next is these little stilettos from Zara. I really like these. I think they're really classy, really elegant, really dress up an outfit. If you're wearing if you're wearing jeans with these, these make you look really, really smart. The only thing is they are very uncomfortable. I wore these for three hours and I was dying to take them off by the end, so just bear that in mind. I wouldn't recommend wearing these out all day. Then from Garage Shoes, um, I got these. I feel like I really needed some gladiator sandals, especially ones that come higher up. I think they're supposed to be just below the knee on normal size for people. Um, I got these in a seven instead of an eight because the the um, the only problem is that these you can't adjust this. It's just made for like a standard leg size, and I think the leg size gets bigger with every shoe size. And my legs are quite skinny at the bottom. I didn't want them to be too baggy. These are still a little bit baggy on me. You can kind of adjust one bit here, but I don't think you can really tell from that far away. I think it's only me because I can see um, like down them. I can see the gaps. Next are also higher shoes. These are knee high. Um, heels, uh, boots in the heel form, I uh, don't know what I'm saying, and it's like suede but then you can pull it up, 
so I think this has got more likelihood of fitting people's legs and um, this the bottom's just like a normal stiletto heel and then it goes up and then it, it's got a zip on the side as well and then at the back you can tie it um, like in a bow like tie it tight around the top of your knee so that it's not going to slide back under your knee uh, they were from in the style and I think they were I'm not sure I'll try and leave a link below the gladiator sandals were reduced to 17 pounds okay so that is everything for my collective shoe haul try it on kind of video and uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did give this a thumbs up if you're not subscribed already then please subscribe um, and I will see you next time and yeah check out my blogs and my Instagram and everything that's going on down below and I will see you next time bye